starting to get really agitated with their fists. The focused eye contact. My kid does that sometimes when she's not pleased at all with what I'm trying to share with her. She's 11. And, and it's almost like this stare, but it's real focused. They're not happy with you at that moment, folks. Not happy at all. But they're still trying to engage. But it may not be in a, in a way that you want to engage with them. We call that the thousand yard stare. They're looking at you, but they're not anymore. They focus to the point that the stare is up kind of over your head. That is a, that's a danger signal. It is time to go. When that starts to occur, it's, excuse me, we're done here. I can do this later. I'm gone. And leave. Also think about, are you discussing sensitive information? I am desensitized in many ways. I have been an officer for 15 years. I worked juvenile for three and a half years before that with uh, McLaren parolees in a residential setting. Before that, I did a volunteer. Before that, I worked at a rape relief hotline. I have been around information that the general public does not want to talk about or deal with for almost 20 years now. You will be doing stuff every single day that seems quite normal for you to be talking about, quite comfortable for you to be talking about. Most people don't sit around talking about that type of information that I talk about and that you will be talking about. And people are uncomfortable with it. And I have to always remember that this isn't general conversation that we're having. This is sensitive information. You will run into different cultural issues and gender issues when you're dealing with cross-gender, when you're talking about different information and children and family problems and maybe domestic violence. It's going to be more sensitive to them than maybe you know. Think about what you're saying. Maybe it needs to be said differently. Once again, maybe it needs to be said somewhere else. People tend to stand differently when they're agitated and they're up on their feet. Some of the things that I try to take a look at, and once again, some of this is, is cultural. I, deal, I work with an officer who is from Long Island, New York, and he's Italian. And this man talks with his hands. They are everywhere. And we used to just back up. I'm, fr I'm from the West Coast, North Seattle. Don't talk with your hands. Not even supposed to be kind of stoic type of British thing. It, they are very different responses that we have, different ways to read. Frank will get excited about stuff. And his hands will start going. His voice will go up a little bit. He's not hostile. He's not belligerent. He's not anything. He's excited. That is from, that's just who he is and where he is from. That is information that all of you are going to have to be gathering. What am I really seeing from this person? Does it fit with what I'm thinking? Be, be careful when you're trying to interpret it. If you're not in arm's reach and you're practicing a lot of the other safety concerns that we've talked about, you're going to be one.